<laughs> My Chinese friends complain that Chinese food overseas is not authentic. <laughs> but I laugh because they make the same complaint right here in China. For example, Northerners complain that jianbing made here in Xiamen are not authentic, but the people making them in Xiamen are Northerners. But they adapted their jianbing for three reasons. One, local taste. Two, available ingredients. And three, sometimes just to be creative. But that's no surprise because Chinese food has evolved for thousands of years. I love Chinese dumplings, or jiaozis. Archaeologists in Xinjiang found 1,200-year-old jiaozis that look just like the ones today. Uh, many claim the best jiaozis are up north, especially in Shandong, but Shandong friends prefer southern jiaozis made with seafood. In West China, I love Xi'an's famous jiaozi banquet at a dumpling house. They have over 100 kinds of small dumplings with varied fillings, shapes, colors. They're not authentic, but they're delicious and very creative. West Fujian's Changting is famous for Hetian chicken, but only 60 kilometers away in Sanming, Hetian chicken is very different. And in nearby Yongding, they don't even bother pretending to make Hetian chicken. They just say, ours is better than Hetian chicken. <laughs> I love Sichuan food, which is famous for being spicy, but it varies greatly across China. In Xiamen, they cook food and toss in a few hot peppers. In Sichuan, they cook hot peppers and toss in a bit of food. If shaman Sichuan food was authentically spicy, they'd lose a lot of business. One of my favorites is Shashin snacks, which has evolved over 100 kinds during the past 1600 years. Today, Shashin snacks are sold all over China and in over 60 countries. I admit that I actually prefer so-called authentic foods because I'm used to them. But if I get something unexpected, ugh, I try to appreciate the new experience. And if I can't appreciate it, well, at least I learned to not eat it a second time. But for me, whether food delights or disappoints depends a lot on whom I'm eating it with. In 1988, when I moved to Shaman, food was very simple. Even eggs were a treat back then for some people. But even the simplest meals were special when I ate with family and friends. So I don't worry too much about the authenticity of foods but authenticity of friendships, that's priceless.